Today we commemorate Alfred the Great, King of the West Saxons. In AD 853, at just four years of age, young Alfred left his home in Wessex and made the arduous journey to Rome. There he was confirmed and anointed by the Pope. Later writers would see this as a prophetic anointing of the boy who would one day become the first great king of England. Alfred's path to the throne was not very clear, as he had three older brothers. Yet all three would serve short reigns and die young. Alfred rose to prominence during the reign of his third brother by valiantly fighting to defend the kingdom from invading Danish Vikings. He ascended to the throne, already a war hero, in AD 871. Conflict with the Danes continued for the first decade of Alfred's rule, but ended with a negotiated peace and the conversion of the Danish king to Christianity. While Vikings would remain a threat for centuries to come, Alfred was able to focus on other tasks. He rebuilt and restored London and gained influence over the surrounding kingdoms. A very devout Christian, Alfred redesigned Anglo-Saxon law to conform to biblical standards, upholding mercy as a key value in the judgment of legal issues. Alfred established schools and universities and helped reinvigorate monasteries that had been ruined by Viking raids. He saw it as among his most important duties to appoint learned and godly bishops to be the spiritual guides of his people. This was a huge shift away from the past when appointing a bishop was seen primarily as a political favor. Alfred personally translated many books, including portions of the Bible and writings of the Church Fathers, into English so that his people might be better instructed. When Alfred died on this day in 899, he left an England that was more unified and safer than it had ever been, with an educational system whose legacy comes down to this day. Yet most of all, the only English king called the Great left a devoted Christian people with a strong and vibrant church. Let us pray. O Sovereign Lord, you brought your servant Alfred to a troubled throne that he might establish peace in a ravaged land and revive learning and the arts among his people. Awake in us also a keen desire to increase our understanding while we are in this world, and an eager longing to reach that endless life where all will be made clear, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you.